Another year, another cheap PC challenge. This year I decided to focus on the do something fun or unusual part of the build, making a machine that, well, I guess it'll become pretty apparent once we look at the parts. Since the challenge focused on Windows Vista and or Windows 7 this year, requiring at least a DirectX 10 capable video card and a somewhat modern browser to complete the challenges, I went with an AMD Socket AM3 system. This platform launched in 2009 and played host to Athlon 2 and Phenom 2 CPUs from 1 to 6 cores with stock speeds up to 3.7 GHz on the fastest Phenom models. I'm not getting anywhere near that level of performance, however, as I'm basing this memeable build around the Athlon 2 X3 420E. This is a 2.6 GHz RANA CPU with, as its name implies, three active cores. This example of raw computing power cost a whopping $16 on US eBay, uh, its price doubtless inflated by its memeable product code, as higher performance phenoms are frequently available for less money. For a motherboard, I chose this Gigabyte GA870A UD3 that I found for all of $20. The CPU slots in nicely, so on to the next component. Power is provided by a Cooler Master Thermal Master TM420 power supply, providing 420 watts of the noisiest, nastiest power I've ever heard in a power supply. Hopefully it doesn't go pop while I'm testing this machine. The GA870A lacks onboard graphics, so we'll need something that can run the Lost Planet benchmark. That something is this Gigabyte GeForce GT420 GPU-shaped object. For some reason, Gigabyte endowed this pinnacle of shading horsepower with 2 gigabytes of DDR3 VRAM, that's four times the reference amount. Since the goal of this machine is to install a ridiculous number of operating systems, we'll need a ridiculous amount of storage in the form of six second-hand SSDs I had laying around the lab. Similarly ridiculous is the 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM we've got here. Finally, I'll be installing this mess in a special edition of my 3D printable test benches, printed using the last of my Rainbow Silk PLA. This design uses the power supply fan to cool the backside of the motherboard and VRM area, Link to the free STLs in the description. With the machine assembled, it looks like this. So let's get installing operating systems and benchmarking this thing. Ready? Here we go.
So the total tally is CPU $16, GPU $10, motherboard $20, and RAM $20. Definitely overkill. Which brings the total system price to just $66, netting this build a ridiculous 340 points from the price alone. I'm definitely adjusting that scoring component next year. As for the challenges, I ran them on five of the six operating systems this thing would boot, but I'm counting the results from Windows Vista via the Windows Vienna cosmetic overhaul as the official score for the machine, because it's, it's just so purple. That gives this build 24.74 points in Passmark, 12.38 points in Octane via Firefox 52.9 ESR, and 40 points in Lost Planet for a total of 77.12 points. That brings the total system score to 417.12 points, and I think it's kind of funny just how many versions of Windows this hardware will boot and run. Definitely expect to see this machine return in the future. So that's it for my entry in the Cheap PC Challenge. I hope everybody has fun and builds something cool this year. Have a great night, and may the PC parts be ever in your favor.